position to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. And we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for a much anticipated main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of welterweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Cruz is on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not much focus and passion in these final moments leading the way here. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Opening round here, scheduled for 12. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Defensively, I'm assuming the taller fighter in this matchup tonight really has to be conscious of protecting his body, Teddy. You know, Joe, that's a great point. We think about the taller guy only being vulnerable to the chin as the shorter man gets in, but if you're tall, there's a lot of long and usually lean body to attack. Not able to land the headshot. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Good right hand. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Garcia. Garcia is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. He is not in good Take shape. He could be off. on the deck in moments. You're okay. Stay with me here. Cruz is putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. You're doing good. Keep it up. Teddy, I gotta be honest with you. Based on what we saw in that last round, I didn't think we'd be broadcasting nice. this round. Nice. I thought the fight would be over. It may be soon if his opponent can jump on him. But this could be his only chance. I don't think he can last much longer. Maybe this is the moment where you expect your opponent to come after you fast. Maybe you grit yourself, you plant your feet. He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Able to cover up that gut. Cruz is hit by a counter punch there. Okay, 
And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. The Flash's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Solid, true uppercut by Raging Bull. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Left hand by Raging Bull. Wow! Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. came true. He was hoping for the end of that round. Now he has it. Okay. That was the You're only okay. thing stopping him from going down. Yeah, but it's not over. You know, you, you have to think like a fighter down. thinks. Yeah, for that moment he got a reprieve. But he's got to go back in one minute and face it again. Does he have the wherewithal to do that? Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. He's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now, look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get He's through it right now. Good. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough where he goes to grab him. He's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Not precise at all by Garcia. Teddy, I'm sure Looking so many good. times you've been approached on the street by guys who say, yeah, I can fight. I fought a little bit. What's the biggest difference you've found through the years with the guys that think they're tough and the guys that are really in the gym? Well, when they're out in the street, somebody's going to usually stop it or you're going to pick up something, you can hit them. You don't have that, of course, in the ring. And also, maybe the most important thing, Joe, is you're not mad. You know, getting mad is like somebody getting a drink in them to open up and all of a sudden start talking. You get mad and you go after what you're mad at. You're in that ring. You don't have that. You don't have that scotch, so to speak, that you can shoot down and get those muscles going. Keep moving. Keep moving. Nice block by Garcia. Ten seconds remaining in this round. That's it. That's it. Big lax. Just like that, all right? Another round just like that. He doesn't like those body shots. Believe me, he doesn't like that, kid. Keep working the body. Take some of You're losing this fight. You gotta pick it up. You hear me? Pick it up. Okay. Please. You can throw him off with some head movement. That's it. Throw him off with head movement. Start of round number four as we look at Teddy's scorecard. The Flash's knockdown is a big difference maker here. And that's the thing. He has the power to separate himself a little bit in this fight. His opponent doesn't have that. Still not moving enough. Oh, 
gets rid of that body shot. Oh, he shook him up with that right hand. Good work by Raging Bull. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Flash's right hand scores well. Blocks that punch. Halfway through round number four. That's it. That's it. Stay away from those. Garcia is well off the mark that time. Able to dismiss that body shot. And he engages in the clinch. Garcia's damage. Can you believe this? Each man has hurt the other. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Final 10 seconds. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisp, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. A very fan-friendly round, but a headache for the right. judges. How do you possibly score that round when each man was able to hurt the other? Well, this is where you have to be a good judge. You have to be a professional judge. You have to use the information that's there. Who won the spots of the round before they each hurt each other? And who hurt the other guy a little more? Relax. Relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. Keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now, he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but... He doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view everybody, mirror. Everybody. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. The Flash's defense has been just unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy, he takes such appreciation everybody. seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do. And that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. Cruz is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. It's all right, just keep moving. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the Flash. One, two. One, two. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Beat him to the punch. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. End of the round, a round, end of the round, a round I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he up? I, yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight. And the kind of fight where you let up for a moment, you're going to lose it. Go out and get him. Go out and fight these guys. Take it to these guys. You have to go out and get these guys. Listen, he's done. He's done. I want you to double up that yap, then finish up with a hook. The start of the sixth round. 
Cruises opening up this round with a lot of momentum. Now, down on your scorecard, but he clearly won the last round and carries that into this round. Well, look, the old-time trainer is my trainer. Customato used to always say there's no such thing as a one-round championship fight. You know, you got to do it. You do it to be the top guy round after round for a lot of rounds together. Well, that's what it's about right now. Yeah, he had a couple bad rounds, but now he has a chance to be back in his fight and show that his worth is down the stretch. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Halfway through round six. Cruz's right hand scores well that time. Come on, keep focused. Rash is home with the uppercut. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Back to the body. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. They both decide to bring it. We've reached the halfway point of this battle. Real good fight here. Tough to get a sense of who's really up. I could see making an argument for either guy, but that's a testament to both guys and what they've been willing to bring to this battle tonight. Yeah, and what it's a testament to Joe is that it's an enjoyable fight. After a while, you don't even concentrate on who's up. All you know is you're enjoying every bit of it. You can't win this going back. Back him up. Always use the feint first. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Parries that punch intended for the head. Watch the hook! The flash is proving to be elusive. Cruz's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expecting the clinch. Scored left hand by Garcia. And just grabbing on to his opponent. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches. But that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean. And you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Cruz is hurt from that. Go, go punches, okay? Don't just don't walk into him without throwing a punch. You got any more of these? I'll do one. Hold it. More blood? Yeah.
are you doing? You okay? I need you to use your feet. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, let's go. The Flash is trying to get back in this fight now as we start round number eight. He started fine, but I think the last few rounds, as your scorecard shows us, he's given way a little bit. His opponent's gaining some momentum. Yeah, I know this is going to sound a little crazy, Joe, but he's thinking too much. It was a close fight, and, you know, he was starting to think about strategy, what I should do. While he was thinking, guess what? The other guy was punching. Relax, relax. Stay away from those. Come on. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Cruz is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Cruz's opponent body. knows exactly what the game plan can be. Now, that counter punch landed with some success. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Uppercut! And he just holds on there. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Pace yourself. Last 10 seconds. Looking good, looking good. He's tired. We got it. He's tired. He's got nothing left. Uh, he's, oh, he I need you to double up your punches and keep yeah, the lead, all right? Keep on this guy. Keep hunting him down, right? Cut the ring off and move him into the ropes. I want you on this guy. Listen. Best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each hey, other stride up. for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Unload! There you go. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Well off the mark by Garcia. Cruz is really doing a fine job here, Teddy. And I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching. But you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head move. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the Will of the Wisp. There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by ring generalship. Thought he had his target, but way Keep off to the moving. side with the uppercut. Keep moving. Cruises is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Super jab by Garcia. A little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. Oh, and there you go. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it?
loses, rising back up. That takes some guts. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go You're back in that room. Open now. You're throwing your punches wide. Keep tight. Keep tight. Cruz's start to this round brings about some new hope. But for most of the night, it's been a hopeless cause. Down on the canvas time and time again. Garcia's work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is not. Focus. No, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart in there. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, hit me. He's moving, he's being smart defensively. The other thing is the punch is a little too wide. He needs to shorten him up a little. one but gives one good work by the flash Watch that. not hitting his mark there going upstairs Cruz has got a cut it looks like it's below the eye on the cheek but it's something that needs to be monitored Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Left and right, left and right. Garcia is able to land a good, solid left hand. Punch, punch. Bruises on the wrong end of a destructive Finish uppercut. Left. Relax, relax. The flash is flat-footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets up on his toes, moves around, gives you angles. He's flat-footed. Yeah, you don't have to be on your tricycle all over the place, but you can step a little bit. Get out of range. He's doing nothing. Then drop some power on him, all right? Nice work. He's hurt. I need you to jump on him in this round, okay? losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. Start of round number 11. Teddy, I peek over at your scorecard. Now we put it up there, and I see Garcia's down in this fight. He still has a chance to win it, though. It's a close fight. You know what he's got to do, Joe, right now to win this fight? Not go down the stretch. He's got to go down memory lane. He's got to remember all the things he sacrificed. When his friends were out playing, when they were going out at night, they were having He was in the gym. When his friends were going to the prom, he was in the gym. When they were doing all those things, he was working. He's got to remember that now and bring it home. Cruz's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. He does it again, Teddy. He's really made a commitment to the body work. And you know, that's only half of the problem for his opponent right now because you know what's coming late. He's going to climb the ladder. He's going to go upstairs. Hugging on the inside. Body shot, body shot. 
Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't throwing back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Cruz is looking really good after that round. Teddy, I think it's a good fight. I think it's a close fight, but I believe it's a fight that he's winning. Yeah, it's the kind of fight, though, that you can't afford to let up at all or do what you just said think that you're winning. He can't really think that way. He's got to think that he's got to take one round at a time. The rest of the rounds, he's got to win each one of them. The final round of what has been a closely contested battle. Blocks that belt line well. Defense just covering up down low. Nice. Let it go. Not much action as he just ties up. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Well timed by Garcia. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Halfway through this 12th and final round. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Cruz is having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots for you offense. You know, one. he's making his opponent miss. Hey, he's getting them more bounce. He's frustrating them a little bit. You know, pop at the right time. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spot. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make him miss, make him pay. Unable to score with the hook. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Here's our ring announcer with the results of what was a very, very good fight. Garcia's your winner by majority decision tonight. You know, I know there's going to be an argument with me in the barbershop tomorrow because my barber's going to be saying, what were they watching? I agree with them. I don't know what the judges were watching. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.